boys, what is going on? I am coming off of a six hour stream for day one of GG Tour. If you guys don't know what GG Tour is, it's our uh, 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 every two weeks we have a Master Duel tournament for $500 free to play for anyone. That means you can join the Discord and play yourself if you would like. And I wanted to do a quick Rye report on day one after going into day two. Day one is all the Swiss rounds and all of the decks that topped will be playing tomorrow in a single elim elimination bracket to see which deck is the best. Um, I wanted to very, very, very quickly go over over because we have some huge meta changes in Master Duel, and I think a lot of people are, uh, this is be this will be the very first tournament a lot of people will point to and be like, look at this, look at this, this is what the meta is going to kind of look at. You can see here, these are all the decks that enter today's tournament. Sword Soul Tenyi was the most entered right alongside with Tri Brigade Zodiac, uh, and then pretty much everything else at a lower level, but most interestingly is what topped in the top 32, 11 Sword Soul Tinnies, 8 Tri Brigade Zodiacs, 2 Tri Brigade Bird Ups, 2 Phantom Knights, 2 Prank Kids, 1 Emancipator Crusadia, Cyber Dragon, Fluffle, Despia, Hero, Sky Striker, and Unchained, well, Unhained, but it was supposed to be Unchained, and look at how much DPE is among all of those decks as well, so... Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the metagame and how it has shifted with the new cards. No surprise to anyone that's been following my the channel, following the tournament scene, following the um, the guide videos I've been doing. Sword Soul is top tier and is easily a tier one deck in my opinion. And here we go. 11 of them, the most topped one playing the DPE version, uh, the rest playing a more pure Sword Soul Tingy style, not pure, sorry. Um, and that's for a couple of reasons. Uh, obviously, Maxi and Nibiru are all over the place. <laughs> and uh, Sword Soul Tenyi, especially with the Needle Fiber build. Some played Needle Fiber, some played without it. Um, either way, is able to play through the disruption of Nibiru, is able to play through, um, you know, a Maximum C. They have their own hand traps. They play, you know, Cross Out Designator. They have a lot of tools and a lot of resources, and they're and they're kind of like Tri Brigade, where they can kind of keep you know uh, a bunch of hand traps on deck to kind of use uh, going into the tournament format. On top of that, cards like Protoss Dragon can we were watching that like win games on its own. Uh, you can see here that zero Drytrons have topped. Um, there was only one Drytron player that did any good today, and to be honest, he went up against Sword Soul. Sword Soul tossed out pro, uh, the Protoss Dragon, and uh, you know they, they just they couldn't handle that. Protoss Dragon just floodgated his entire board. It, it was very disgusting. Um, you also see no Virtual World either. Virtual World is not having a good time with the Sword Soul and DP. Specifically, DPE is just shutting down uh, all Virtual World plays. You need two cards on your board. And DPE is just going to be going around popping cards left and right. You'll never get a combo off. It, it, virtual world completely useless, <laughs> it seems, in the new metagame. So there you go. No more dealing with VFD Turbo. Don't have to deal with it. Now we have DPE Turbo instead. Um, speaking of which, Tri Brigade 7 DPE, Tri Brigade Zodiacs. It does look like that Tri Brigades are going to be the big users of DPE. Uh, he is able to come out. He's able to pop the Bear Brum that we saw. That it's just it's just another option. Option that this deck has access to now and they really don't lose a whole lot to try and get that monster on the board um and just overall has had an insane success for tri brigades so what is the best dpe deck well apparently it is the tri brigade deck so there you go <laughs> so sword soul tri brigades take a massive portion of the top cut we also had bird up do very well bird up uh the, the games that i saw do very well it's just them pretty much locking people out with the statue barrier no you can't summon anything but wind monsters not many wind monsters in the metagame equals easy win phantom knight phantom knight Actually, this is the best they've done in a very, very long time. I'm, I'm, and the only one is playing DP. The other one's just pure Phantom Knight. So I'll be very interested to see how they do tomorrow. Um, you would think it'd be Rongo Bongo Spam, but to be honest, we didn't really see Rongo Bongo Spam. It was just, they were just summoning monsters left and right, uh, you know, chilling on the DP for the grind game. And of course, when you get into the grind game with Phantom Knights, they're banishing a bunch of cards from their grave to get more resources. And it's very hard to just kind of outright destroy them. Two prank kids, only one of them playing DPE though. 
Uh, we actually didn't watch any Prank Kid games on stream. We were focused more on Sword Soul, so I don't have too much to say about Prank Kids. DP doesn't really seem to be making too much of a difference with them for the few games that we did see um, throughout the week. So uh, we'll just have to get more information on that. Emancipator, uh, Emancipator with DPE actually topped. Um, Emancipator just feels like a weaker Sword Soul to me. Uh, for, funny enough, uh, it's, it just feels like a Sword Soul that cannot play through the, the Nibiru's and the Maxis unless they get really lucky. Crusadia was just kind of a weird OTK deck, not much to say there. Cyber Dragon, I think Cyber Dragon's a huge underdog now that DPE is in the in the metagame. Uh, what's interesting about Cyber Dragon is it's one of the few decks that actually does have leftover resources after making their best possible plays to summon the Verte. In a lot of decks, the Verte tends to be um, the backup option, the plan B, but in this deck, you actually use all of your resources, especially the last bit of resources, to make Verte into the DPE. So that was super interesting to see from Cyber Dragon. And in fact, I will be making a full Cyber Dragon DPE guide because I actually think that deck is really, really, really strong. I'm just trying to get the maybe platinum, maybe gold to get some better footage before we send that up. Fluffle Despia. Uh, it's mostly a Despia deck. There's not really much Fluffle in that deck, if I'm being honest, but it is it is actually quite good. And uh, when we get the rest of the branded support, I expect this deck to rise to tier one immediately. It's already pretty good to like be rogue level, in my opinion, because um, the Despia cards do have some insane, insane strength. So I'm excited to see how they do tomorrow in the top 32. There's a hero player playing DP that makes the most sense. They can actually summon DP with having used Verte. It's kind of their own archetype card. Sky Striker. There's always one Sky Striker too. And then Unchained, not too much to say about Unchained. They just kind of snuck in at the end there. What is the meta looking like? The meta is looking like Sword Soul is nuts with Tri Brigade kind of keeping them up. Both of them kind of in that tier one category. And uh, then everything else, if I'm being totally honest, you know, the meta is completely shifted. Virtual World and, um, and Drytron are essentially dead. Those decks just can't really function in the current metagame, I feel. Uh, our metagame is, 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 revolves a, a lot around hand traps, specifically the Max C hand trap. And as you can see, Sword Soul um, is able to play in that environment. So anyone that's been on the fence of trying the deck or playing the deck, there you go. There's your proof that they are at least very, very capable of doing well in the competitive scene of, of Master Duel and will probably continue to do so. You guys let me know down in the comments down below but what you think will win tomorrow's tournament. This tournament is not done. This was only day one of this tournament. Day two is where these contenders, these 32 decks, will face each other in a best of three single elimination style tournament. And then whoever wins that will be declared the winner and probably best deck of the metagame, let's be honest here. It, it will probably be Sword Soul or Tri Brigade, just based on the raw number of tops that both of these decks have. But who knows? Maybe some of these other decks will uh, will make it through. You guys, let me know what you think about in the comments down below. Is any deck on here you, you're super interested in? Maybe I should make a video about? I don't know. Uh, leave your predictions down below what you'll think. And if you would like to watch this tournament, Sunday, 12 p.m. EST, EDT, whatever we're in, I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching for the Quick Ride Report.